Hey, this is Megan in the restricted section. Today, I wanted to talk about a book called The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. I don't have my copy because I lent it out, so this is what the cover looks like. This book is kind of a meld of genres. It's a kind of a fantasy, sci-fi, horror type novel. Um, it's Scott Hawkins' debut novel, and I think he did a fantastic job. The Library at Mount Char follows um, <clears throat> these 12 orphans. Um, they were orphaned when this kind of cataclysmic event happened, and this man or being called Father took them in and decided to raise them in his library to be librarians. Um, these are not your standard librarians. There are several jokes made in the book about that, um, that very fact. But the library is a very unconventional, um, unorthodox library. There are 12 catalogs of knowledge contained within the library. And they are things like war, um, languages, uh, animals, um, healing, and death are a few of them. And each orphan is assigned to one of the 12 catalogs, and it is their task to learn their catalog inside and out and to become experts on their catalogs. Um, no librarian other than father is allowed to learn outside of their catalog because only father can be the master of all, all you know, 12 catalogs. Everything is very implicit at first, and then as the book goes along, you get more detail and you know, there's some flashbacks and you get some backstory but you're thrown into the story with, without a whole lot of that. And there's a lot of things that are hinted at or implied that you come to learn later. So it's kind of implied at first that whoever controls the library is essentially like a god and has the power of life and death and um, can control creation. So that's the world that these these orphans are brought up in. It's separate from American society. It's its own culture. They have their own language. Um, the way that they interact with each other is very unconventional. So they're brought up in this life and then father is missing. So father goes missing and you get this sense of impending doom, like something big and catastrophic is going to happen. And so then the, you know, the 12 librarians end up kind of vying for control of the library. So the book follows the, the main character, Carolyn. Um, she is one of the librarians and she is tasked with learning languages. And that's all languages, um, human or not, follows her throughout this kind of struggle for control of the library. And this book is one of the most bizarre books I have ever read. Um, and that is not in any way a bad thing. It's very strange. Um, a lot of really fucked up things happen in this book. It's a very dark book. Um, it's not a horror novel that will out and out scare you, but it is um, a novel that will kind of get in your brain and crawl around in there and really make you think and really kind of make you say, what the fuck? Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Um, so four out of five stars for me on this one. Um, but yeah, it is very strange and it's hard to talk about this novel with people who haven't read it, which is one of the reasons why I'm having a hard time articulating myself when I'm talking about it. But it's a really good book though. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I recommend it. Um, so if you're into, you know, sci-fi, horror, fantasy-ish type of books, or if you just want to read this one because it's interesting and fucked up, highly recommend it. So please. Um, the ending is especially bizarre. I'm not going to give anything away, but it kind of opens the door to a whole new level of crazy, which is saying a lot because this book is already its own brand of crazy. So um, it's super interesting. There were parts in it that kind of made me chuckle. Um, it's a very dark humor, but there is some humor in it. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's just really fucked up. So if you've read it, Comment below, let me know what you thought. Maybe you agree with me, maybe you disagree. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to put a couple of links down below where you can find me on social media if you are so inclined. Um, I mostly just post a lot of pictures of books and my dogs, so if that's what you're into. Um, Sue and I are going to be posting a video together probably on Monday. I think we're going to do a beer and book tag, which I'm pretty excited about because I think it'll be awesome. 
Um, so yeah, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.